Hello my dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Taurus and it's for the month of October, a little bit over 2024. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. reading. Welcome my dear viewers, welcome and thank you all for being here. Let us start by explaining and showing you what your coffee cup looks like. It is absolutely beautiful as always. And wow, new doorway opening up. So many changes here. My goodness gracious. You're becoming very powerful. Mm, my dear Taurus, very powerful. Right. Um, welcome, my dear viewers, again, for those of you who are new to the channel. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. It's about everything, every area, every aspect of your life. I do meditate a lot prior to doing this, and I'm given information which I write down very messy, very quickly, and then later transfer them on a piece of paper and deliver them to you at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that. Now, my dear viewers, welcome all, and let me begin to see mm, connection from the beginning of your cup to the ending. That always is the area that I keep at the end to look at all the Chinese uh, years, all the, you know, love matters, connections. But this time, it looks like, I'll go through it and see exactly how it is connected. The first thing I'm seeing here is that you will heal. I'm seeing you healing. I'm healing from something that seems to be sort of like, taking a lot of your energy or something very difficult. You've become indecisive. You've lost your direction. You're not sure what changes should you make, what necessary changes are to be made. Self-love is very important. Taking time out and really thinking things through, helping yourself, self-help, by meditating, contemplating, uh, spending quality time, uh, reviving, uh, re, re um, the reviving wasn't the right word. Revisiting what you need to do, you know, journaling, writing down what you need. And never ever worry about fear of failure because um, there's something going on which is about... One second, my dear Taurus, bear with me. I had to drink some water, I'm sorry. Your journey of life shows to me that you are at a, at, a, at a section where you will make necessary changes for your next chapter. And the next chapter starting now. Maybe it started some time ago, but now it's becoming real. And your instinct, your gut feeling is telling you that you have to make changes. Changes that you maybe, you know, some of you don't even like to make. Um, but you need to maintain your vision for your goal, what you're aiming, and maybe make some necessary changes. Now, for some of you, it might be hard because that could mean letting go of something you, you enjoy or someone you like or a situation that you like or, or something that you love, but your perception has to change. In order for you to have peace and tranquility, you need to change your way of looking at things. Now you seem to be confused a little bit of confusion there you, you're not yourself you're not don't, you don't know what to do maybe you're dealing with someone a bit difficult words do hurt there are hurtful words painful words heartache there's loss you might be going through loss you might be making decisions about loss you might be worried about losing someone there could be sorrow and loss so there are arguments with a lover or with someone that you really care about. There are arguments. Some of you may be even separating. Some of you are going through, you know, um, separation because you're with an incompatible lover or something that might have, has, might have come to an end. Or maybe there is someone that is... Um, there's emotional upheaval, that's for sure. So this emotional upheaval can be connected to different areas, different Taurus go going through different things. But your perseverance has been, uh, uh, you know incredible uh in fact it is your sacrifice and your perseverance and sacrifice both together that are making you feel a bit confused but you are going to be supported big time by the heavens and uplifted 
and you will achieve the success you need because you are going to be rewarded for the sacrifices and the perseverance. You have been persevering and sacrificing sleepless nights, suffering, and just putting up with situations for too long, my dear Taurus. This has gone too long. It's time for you to be rewarded. So in the process of you doing that, they could, you could be grieving the loss of someone, but I feel like um, guilt, something about guilt, Regret, something you've done, you're regretting maybe. Maybe having sleepless nights because of that. But I do feel that um, there is someone else on your mind and that person has sort of like, um, has taken over, uh, taken over your your, uh, your mind. So what you have lost or regret in the past, that's just in the past. But it was a difficult decision. There are still yet difficult decisions to be made. But the sad thing is what I, what I see here, which is really important that I pointed out to you because you don't know it. It looks like you have, you're, you're lacking direction. You're not sure how to proceed or what to do. You're too afraid to talk about it to someone. Maybe you're dealing with someone that's not so open-minded, a bit complicated maybe, or you don't feel like you can, they care enough for you to talk to them. They're not wise enough or they don't, uh, it's just something I feel like you're not able to do. But it does look to me like it's time for you to take back control of your life. I feel like you need to free yourself from any kind of anguish or pain or restriction or emotional issues. You really have to. I feel like you're leaving uh, a situation. Dis you're disappointed, uh, dissatisfied. You're not happy. You're tired of the current situation and you just... Dealing with a bad attitude, I see you, you do uh, either you're dealing with someone with a bad attitude or you need to take action in regard to a bad attitude, but you are leaving your current uh, situation. It could be a job or a relationship, maybe because of a bad attitude. That's what it looks like somebody with a lot of words, hurtful words. So some of you are thinking of traveling or relocating, even moving somewhere else looking elsewhere for happiness perhaps but you are making dramatic changes in your life without a doubt and i feel like some of you are moving there's a lot of conflict there's always arguments people arguing um there's you know it looks to me like there's a bit of a competition there could be a little bit of uh, power struggle here as though this person uh, that you're dealing with or this situation looks like they they're causing a lot of obstacles in your way um, they're opposing your plans, um, challenging your authority in a way. You, you will feel all those things. Arguments are becoming part of every day. Like they're not stopping. Like you think you resolve them, everything is okay, and then back to arguments again. And that's, that's why I'm seeing there's a big change. There's a new doorway opening for you to just get out, I feel. There's so much change. You need to open yourself to, you know, to... But I do see codependency here. You are codependent in some way, my dear Taurus. Or maybe somebody's codependent on you. There is codependency. Maybe you're comfortable uh, in a place and you don't want to sort of let go. Um, there is some. There will be some addictions that will affect your romantic life. You've got to be very careful, maybe with this codependency that I'm seeing. You're working hard. You might be dealing with someone that works hard. You know, their, their work is the center of their life. This could be yourself or the person that you're dealing with. And um, financially, you will be very successful. You need a little bit of patience um, and extreme focus. Your focus needs to be, um, you know, really looked into. You've got to be realistic, and you are. You're realistic, and you're down to earth. I think the only thing that is, um, that is making you feel sort of uh, unsure, or is because I see that like, there there is a new pathway that might have opened up, or or a part, a chapter of your life might have just come up, and this chapter could be doing dealing with children or pets. And it looks to me like, one moment, I see pets a lot, I see children, 
this is about parenthood legacy leaving them increasing their number what to do every Taurus is going to go through this in a different way some of you are learning to um, adapt to new children or new pets some of you are um, adapting to a new way of taking care of them uh, some of you are thinking of starting a family. Some of you are fighting not to start a family. They want to sort of just live the way they are. Uh, and you're fighting your uh, parenthood kind of... Um, you don't want to go through that. Some of you are sort of, you know, uh, what's the word? Resisting. Uh, and, and, and yet parenthood and, and the legacy of parenthood, whether it's to children or pets, is being sort of pointed out big time here. A lot of nurturing is needed, a lot of sacrifice is needed. And it's like, it's, it looks to me like some of you have just already sacrificed so much and you don't want to add to that, you know. But there is going to be someone that's going to be wonderful, someone outgoing, someone who will inspire you. Yes, someone is going to inspire you. There is attraction between you and someone, very strong attraction, beautiful attraction, romantic love. You'll be enjoying the moment with this person. I also feel like some of you could be connecting to someone of fire energy. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, they'll have fire in them. This is someone very, what's the word, strong. They've got leadership skills. They attract attention wherever they go. Could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, uh, could be an Aries. Uh, but I do feel like this person is the kind of person who takes action and you love that about them. They're action oriented. They say what they say and they do what they do. Whatever they say they do, they follow up. They've got new concepts and you just enjoy, uh, you know, spending time with them. This fire energy. You want to do things with them. You want to um, you enjoy their presence. You, you become yourself when you're with them. Yeah, you're connected to this fire energy. My dear Taurus, always you'll be connected to fire energy. Fire energy inspires you, regenerates you, gives you growth. Talking about growth, I see a beautiful golden tree here. This could be growth in many areas of your life, in your love life, in your money life, in your finances. Things coming to fruition, investments, abundance also all over this place this golden tree it's booming it's expanding some of you could be working in landscaping business or doing dealing with plants and outdoor jobs perhaps family business sometimes this sounds like a golden tree uh message where that usually comes it's about family there's family situations legacies again and um, stability for children and family family legacy very interesting it also looks like balance is needed I feel like you are going to be really needing to bring balance into your life. The letter Y here is uh, um, the letter Y for yellow or yolk or um, what's another? Yes, yes, Y for yes. So it could be a yes or it could be the initial of someone. Someone that's leaning on the side, They might their health might be not doing well. They might be needing support. They might be... Anyway, I'll leave that there. Um, I'll talk about something else. <laughs> it could be somebody that's not feeling well. There is an agreement, handshake, agreement, connection. It says follow your dreams over it. So maybe this agreement is going to be something to do with your dreams, following your dreams. I see that there is a follow-up needed for something also. You're transcending a lot of changes. You're indulging in your ambition and what you want to do. Your hard work and your cleverness will pay off big time. Your confidence is shining. Something big is happening. I feel like you are going to be rewarded big time. There's a big reward. A beautiful, uh, um, not an umbrella. It's a bigger one than the umbrella. Like a, like a sail over you. It's like shelter. It's like you, you're, you're, you're honored or you're recognized or you're, you know, the heavens are watching over you. You're in grace. I see glorious success. I see recognition for a job well done. I see great victory. There's a lot of positive affecting your life. You have been, your self-esteem hasn't been doing well, but I feel like you are a wonderful person. You just don't know it, maybe. There's a lot of lack of confidence. I see the sun shining and giving you abundance. I see a beautiful angel. Oh, my God. This angelic being watching over you. Oh, my God. There's no way that nobody can see this. You see these wings. That's the head of the angel. 
And these are the wings. How could anyone not see this? How? This angelic being. You see? These are the wings and that's the head and that's the other wing. Hovering over you, watching over you. This tells me that you are unique. And another smaller angel under their wing, learning from them as though... Oh my God, this is incredible. This is as though there is something really major in your life. And there are two angels watching over you. But there's more. It's like as though there's planning, they're planning something. Something to do with your success. Something to do with somebody that you care about. Their health. Uh, preparing you for something. Um, there's alertness. They're alerting. They're... they're, they're Maybe they're there because you have to be alert about something. But, you know, at the end of it, there's happiness and there's optimism. So it's not negative. A period of contentment I'm seeing. But also maybe they're helping you with your doubt. If you're doubtful about something. There is a success, a successful completion of something. Now, sometimes when that happens, there could be an ending. Because I do see a small coffin here, but... At the end of the day, whatever passes here, it's a healing process and it's a positive thing. I know uh, when something, someone or something or a pet or something dies, people think uh, the worst of, you know, when it comes to death. But um, sometimes there's a reason for everything. And in this particular situation, two, one giant uh, angel and a small one right underneath their wings up in the air, it just shows you are in grace and you are loved and cherished and taken care of. You are being watched and really loved. Despite of what might happen, they're planning for a better future for you. They're moving you from this. I feel like you'll be meeting someone very, very hardworking, reliable, gentle. And they've got special qualities that you will adore. I feel like this person could be uh, replacing someone uh, that you were... Uh, you need to be patient. It says have patience here. Yeah, patience is needed. I do see a turtle showing that, you know, patience, love is about patience and kindness and everything slow and steady will win, win the race like <laughs> like the, this cliche goes with the um, turtle. But always remember perseverance gets you to the next level. Be willing to express love. Express your love to receive and give. If you're caught up in something from the past and you're stuck there, uh, something that is not real, you might think it's real, delusion, you know, some people might, like, might not like what I'm saying here, but there could be something that you might have misinterpreted and it's just lingering, it's not real, something real is coming. These two angels are changing your life, something wonderful is coming. L love is endurance and you are wonderful with that, my dear Taurus, but maybe you've been enduring and waiting for someone that's not real, you know. Um, yes, love is endurance, but it has to has to be realistic. Maybe you, you've been waiting for someone that that maybe you're hopeful about some love which isn't for you. Let's say let's say it's not for you because what I'm seeing is, to be quite honest with you, with these two angels, I'm seeing a spiritual partnership. A spiritual love is going to be brought into your life, and it's going to be magic. And I feel like that person could be fire energy, fire energy, my dear. Uh, my dear Taurus, fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, um, and Aries too, Aries, yeah, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy, big time, now, it could be fire and water, because there's water, and I'm seeing Pisces, one, two, three, four, Pisces, he's, they're very strong Pisces in this person, one small Cancer, one, one Scorpio, but the majority of Taurus will be dealing with Pisces, Water, energy, Pisces, and fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. There could be Earth like yourself in this person. Capricorn being number one, three Capricorns. Virgo also, two Virgo, one Taurus. But the most is Capricorn in the Earth energies. You could be dealing with someone of air energy or letting go of air energy. Air is leaving your life. Aquarius, number one, Gemini. And um, triple Gemini here, three Geminis and Libra, one Libra. But... I feel like air energy are leaving your life. They're not, they could be part of your life. They could be your siblings, your children. They could be your extended family. Or if it was a relationship, you're leaving air energy behind and leaving. Air energy doesn't, won't be permanent. But I'm seeing fire 
and water being more permanent and Capricorn as an earth now I'm seeing an, uh, Chinese years here we go we have the horse four times one two three four horses those of you are dealing with the horse now there are some of you dealing with Caspies uh, and I'm seeing here rooster being number one there's three roosters and two dogs so it could be and there's a, a, a sort of like a um, a bridge between them that tells me that could be cuspy you know if somebody's a aquarius or capricorn uh, or maybe their date of birth has been you know uh, played around with perhaps i'm talking about um uh, taurus cuspy usually they're capricorns or aquarians um cuspy dog chinese here of the dog and the rooster again i need to drink water i'm sorry why well, i'm dehydrating i don't know now, my dear viewers, I also see the next one, which is a dragon. Beautiful dragon. There's three of them. Chinese ear of the snake. Chinese ear of the cat, rabbit, the pig. What else we have here? Oh, the rat. So the pig and the rat are family. They're connected. Uh, the dragon and the snake are connected. Then, then there is uh, the buffalo. But these are all signs. Uh, these are all Chinese signs of either yourself who you're dealing with, people around you, people that you're connected with, people that you're letting go of, people that you're moving forward with, and it's so forth. And there could be a people that you are very much in connection in October. Now, I'm seeing the wish wand, wish card. Wish, uh, they call it wish card, wish wand. It's wishes. Wishes coming true desires being granted problems being solved there's a beautiful key here also emotional peace you're having peace in your life peace is going to be inner peace is going to be overwhelming you um and it's amazing that i'm talking about inner peace my dear taurus and that's why if you might have seen these um buddhist uh, statues that I have here. The reason I've got them is that I, I, I started getting into a lot of uh, Buddhism and philosophy of Buddhism, not as a religion. I don't look at it as a religion, but I look at it as a as a healing mechanism, like with the philosophy of of inner peace and you know um, and fighting, sort of being mindful and meditation because I meditate a lot. Uh, I, I really am very much now into meditation. So uh, that's why you've seen these um, over here. It's not the religion. I'm not very religious. In fact, I'm not religious at all. Uh, I am very uh, spiritual. I'm a spiritual person. So that uh, you know that. And, and so that you won't say, how come like she has the Egypt Egyptology and then now she's got this. I am open to every religion. I'm open to every spiritual uh, history and the history of our planet and everything involved in it so i do respect everything now my dear viewers here we go my dear taurus now i'm going to go through this okay the first thing says time to release no that's not it a key sorry i had the wrong one a key a key i saw a key just now now a key is means either you're buying a new home you're moving to a new house you might be renting a new apartment or a resolution an answer to your questions a resolution a key is wonderful then I was given koi koi is the the most expensive fish on the planet that means abundance is coming your way own business and boss how amazing how direct own business boss you are going to be the boss some of you might be considering doing your own business and some of you might have not even thought about it but you are or you will be peace oh my god peace <laughs> look at that peace there it is. I don't know what I write. Now I get excited when I see them. Peace. And then it says drama. What a contradiction. So when there's drama in your life, you will start seeking peace. And, and I've done that in my, in my life. Why I went into a lot of Buddhism is because I was going through a turmoil. There was a turmoil within me. Knowing and seeing the future affects me a big time, especially when there's people that I care about that could be, you know, going through things. Uh, so what I do is I need it in a peace. And when I'm working hard, there's no time. So I made time and I started doing this. And I feel like peace is needed. And I feel like peace is coming into your life. When there's drama, uh, you need to look for inner peace. Someone with you to do with you okay so there may be, might be even drama within you maybe because i saw you lacking direction so peace and um contemplation and meditation if you can't meditate you look into the philosophy of buddhism that slowly will teach you into to get into meditation meditation is for everyone it isn't a religious thing where you stick to that religion and you can't do this meditation helps every religion now 
leaving. If you're wondering whether you're leaving, yes, you are. You are moving. I saw that, relocating, leaving. Taylor. Taylor is about, you know, you might be organizing um, or tailoring a plan to do with your diet or with your regime or with your meditation or timing or um, to do with your work. You're trying to sort of organize uh, or you could be also a tailor. You might be, you know, um, an alter, alterator, dressmaker, or, you know, like a tailor. And a tailor is someone who makes clothes. Uh, there's also something about tailoring your lifestyle. So you might be putting a bit of, um, you know, effort into changing your lifestyle because I did see a major change. Now, again, I've got lotus and meditation. I had that for Aries. For those of you, those Taurus that have, that are cuspy, early, early, um, May or even late uh, April, they're usually cuspies. And um, even though it's not mentioned as cuspies, but they are. So anyway, uh, meditation. I feel like there could be someone passing. You will need a lot of meditation. Again, we're talking about meditation. Now, May. Um, someone born in May. This could be Gemini. Could be Taurus. Uh, and then I've got a dog. Chinese year of the dog. Or there could be the passing of a pet dog that could be also but the dog also can be connected to the Chinese year of the dog to November it's connected to and May May could be someone that's Taurus with Gemini within them so you know okay as for um, names uh, initials that will impact you in October uh, and a little bit over we got Y for yellow for yes we had the Y here remember we got V here also victory but why? L for love, London. J for Japan. X for x-rays. I for indigo or India. M for Mexico or Morocco. F for France. C for Canada or Charlie. Q for quails or quilt. K for kangaroo. And D for dog. Now, I was given four numbers, starting with number 11. Number 11 is connected to November, connected to the Chinese year of the dog. It is also about... Um, November itself and it is about people born in November Scorpio or um, Sagittarius we have Sagittarius here and Scorpio both uh, we also it's also about um, it is about spirituality it's about the 11th house it's about um, ro uh, ro royal being uh, loyal to someone loyalty connection friendship loyalty now the next one number 10 and november okay number 10 number 10 is end of a chapter it could be end of a karmic chapter it could be end of a, a suffocating chapter it could be end of uh, a situation that has reached its completion you're completing a chapter plenty is happening and from the time you see this up to 10 weeks or up to october Till the end of October, maybe, or no, between October and November. Then we've got number four. Quick success coming your way from the time you see this cup up to four weeks or even four months. Chinese year of the cat, rabbit, connected to the four. And of course, um, Aries and Taurus. This is about you, April. So um, those of you who are born late April. But it is to do with Aries and Taurus. Quick success coming. Finally, I have number seven connected to the Chinese year of the horse. Connected to also to people that have cancer or um, Leo in them. There was a strong Leo in your cup. This is about freedom, spirituality, and absolute freedom. From the time you see, see this cup up to seven. Seven weeks, I would say. Some for some of you, seven months. And that's the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Do give me a thumbs up. Please watch the video till the end in support of me. Or let it run till the end in support of me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to help me out to get those numbers that I'm supposed to accumulate. I wish you all my love and light. To all of you, all my blessings. Namaste.